It's been 20 years and counting that the persons with disability have been crying for freedom. They've been crying for security. They've been crying for an act to be established so they will also have an umbrella where they can operate. And yes, the disability community are saying thank you to Mr. President for hearing their cry and cleaning their tears by providing a commission for persons with disability. And so the National Commission for Persons with Disability in 2020 was established by law. Today, board members and council members, including the executive secretary, Mr. James Lalu, are seated here to be inaugurated by their supervisory body. What is going to happen after the commission has been inaugurated? Where is the place for persons with disability? What is the commission set to do? All this and much more we will bring right to your desktop on Against All Odds on the Nigerian Television Authority, the NTA. Please don't go away. We will be back very shortly. My name, Doshima Pius Ikiravi. This is Against All Odds. National Commission for Persons with Disabilities was established to enhance inclusiveness and enable the disabilities community to contribute their quota to national development. Also, the Commission is saddled with the responsibilities of ensuring the monitoring, evaluation and realization of government policy objectives on persons with disabilities and to receive complaints of persons with disabilities on the violation of their rights, amongst others. In line with this vision, the federal government, through the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, inaugurated the chairman and members of the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities. The Honorable Minister Hadjia Sadia Omar Farouk said that on her assumption of office as the Honorable Minister, she was confronted with the yearnings for the implementation of the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Act, which establishes the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities. She therefore challenged them to bring their expertise and put in their best, devoid of personal enrichment, to support the Commission to deliver dividends of democracy to persons with disabilities. The Minister assured them of the full support of the government and her personal commitment to their success. Immediately, I was sworn in as minister. My first visitor on this issue was my dear brother, dear yeah, friend, the single senator for Sita Isma. So, he was so persistent, and he said, You must see me that day. And I was wondering, What is it? I wish to use this medium. I really appreciate His Excellency, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Muhammad Bukhari, for not only signing the bill into an act, but approving the appointment of the chair and members of council, as well as the executive secretary as follows. Honorable Doctor Hussein Slayman Kangua, Chairman of the Dr. Kangua is from Heavy State representing the Northwestern part of this country. We have Ms. Amina Rahama Aou, member
also from the Northwest. Miss Philomena I. Conwell. Chairman of the Governing Council of the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, Honorable Husseini Suleiman Kangiwa, thanks Mr. President, the Senate, and the Humanitarian Affairs Minister for finding it worthy to confirm the nomination of the members of the Council, as well as the Executive Secretary, James Lalu, and members, Esther Andrew Awu, Obaraku Onyejelam Jaja, Omobariola Busuyi Oluwashola, Amina Rahman Audu, Philomena Kwenwea, and Abba Audu Ibrahim. The President and the Commander in Chief of the Army Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for the confidence in calls on me by nominating me as the Chairman of the National Commission for Personal with Disability. And, uh, and all other government council colleagues. Mm. I also wish to thank the Senate of the Republic of Nigeria for the quick confirmation of our nomination. It is imperative to say that we are aware of the task ahead of us in deciding the life, living, Learning on a good foundation 
from the Commission and as well as to relevant policies and programs that will enable us to meet the need for the persons with disability within the limits of our resources. There is ability in disability. Senator Osita, in his address, thanks the President Muhammadu Buhari and the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs for making sure that the dream for establishing the Commission is accomplished. He pledged his support to the Commission towards the development of the disability community. We must thank Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, for assenting to the appeal of the rights of persons with disability. Several administrations in this country have tried to get a piece of legislation for persons with disability in the not work on the in present administration did it in 2019. We must thank Mr. President for that. It's only this administration that has appointed a senior special assistant for persons with disability in Nigeria. Yes. Honorable Minister, you want to recall that it is only the All Progressive Congress that we are one of the founding mothers of the party that enshrined in their constitution to have persons with disability from the world, local government, state, and national level. This is because the government believes that there is enough space for persons with disability in our country, and government has demonstrated it. So today, as you take your oath, as you take the mantle of leadership of the Commission in one way or the other, we can only encourage you that it is not the end yet, but it is just the beginning. We will ensure that you do not disappoint persons with disability because the job is critical. The job is onerous. The whole world is looking at you. The entire country is looking at you. We want to see to what extent you can achieve this opportunity given to you to manage your affairs by yourself. They presented an award to President Muhammadu Buhari and the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs to appreciate the support and implementation in signing the Disability Act into law. And just to show that we appreciate all that he has done, because this is a lifetime, you know, Mark is going to be in the lives of persons with disability. We are the Joint National Association of Persons with Disabilities, which is the umbrella body of this, all disability organizations in Nigeria. We want to present this award of distinction to him as the Grand Commander of Persons with Disabilities in Nigeria. <laughs> And not just only the president, man. We, we recognize your passion, your sincere passion when you came in, and how tirelessly you worked to ensuring that this commission took place. And we will not at this point in time just let you go without showing our appreciation. So today we present to you this award of excellence as a mother, a mother of persons with disability in Nigeria. This is against all odds. The Executive Secretary, National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, Mr. James David Lalu, on behalf of the management, staff and entire disabilities community, wishes to appreciate you all for your enormous support, cooperation and above all, believing in our capacity by entrusting the Commission into our hands, a symbol of independence to the entire disability community. We pray God to keep us together, greater bigger and better in 2021. Wishing us all a happy and prosperous, hitch-free New Year.
with the Joint National Association of Persons with Disabilities when they presented their award to President Buhari as the Grand Commander of the Order of Disabilities. This is the highest rank of appointment of award or recognition that anybody can give. Now the disability committee have recognized him to the maximum level because he has done what has never been done and he has done what that can hardly be matched. By giving us this institution, next president, the highest thing the next president will do is to fund the institution properly and do other things, but he cannot go to create another thing again. Because Buhari have only finished. So by this way, Buhari deserves all the recognition, Buhari deserves all the support, and Buhari deserves all the prayers from the disability community for doing this wonderful job. We remain grateful to President Muhammad Buhari for this. There is a saying that says that for every successful man, there must be a woman behind the success. This Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, this is the Management and Social Development, she remains a model of persons with disabilities. Because the experience we have some time back was that some people in government will still go and oppose the establishment of this institution. But what we have is immediately when she came in, into her office. Once that ministry was created, she was appointed as the Honorable Minister. When we heard it, the disability has been moved to that ministry, a lot of us felt a sense of relief. Because we are seeing her as a new person. She may not know anything about disability. And when we saw her as the way she was working in the refugee commission, she has proved to be a nice woman, a nice mother. So subsequently when she came in and she assumed that office, disability was moved to her. She proved to the last bit as the nice mother. Distinguished Senator Osita is one as well. This man is the most distinguished of them all because he has embraced disability. If you look around for the past 15 years, he has been doing programs empowering thousands and thousands of persons with disabilities. I can still remember that immediately when the Honorable Minister for Humanitarian Affairs was appointed into that ministry, he was the person going around to find out who is in charge of a disability. And when he discovered that it was under her, he went there and met her. He started pushing it. He started pushing it together with her. She understood the priorities that it is there in the heart of the disability community, and she worked together with him. Today we have the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities. I think these people deserve all the commendations that we will show on them. There is one man again, a silent achiever, who is the governor of Plateau State, right on our purpose. I remember, I can see, remember the contribution he made in approaching the president to advise the president to assent to this disability. Again, his effort in pushing out and supporting all the system as the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum to making sure that the National Disability Commission is established today here we are. We must team up, bring ourselves together to make sure that we succeed, to make sure that this commission succeeds, because this commission today remains the heartbeat of the disability community. And we are going to stamp out all discrimination against persons with disabilities in Nigeria. There are reported cases of discrimination already, which we are working on. Some happen in the airport. Some happen in the university, most especially the University of Ibadan. Some are happening in some institutions. We are going to meet up with them as soon as we pray that God help us to see the new year 2021. And as soon as we begin from that January 2021, we are going to write to this institution. We will have a meeting with all of them. We will sit and to discuss to find a way how we can be able to enforce the National Disability Act. Again, in the area of employment, that is one of the very important things. As, as I am today, as the Executive Secretary of the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, there are some institutions that have already indicated interest to comply with that 5%. There is a saying that when the body language of the leader is going this way, you will see all of the followers go with him. 
As now that we have a positive body language from the president, you can see that all the appointees of the government will chill around and go to the president. That is why most of them started calling us already to align and agree and then implement that five percent of the employment opportunity for persons with disabilities. And very soon we are going to accomplish that. For us from the International Commission for Persons with Disabilities, any institution that employ persons with disabilities count on us because we are going to make sure that all the necessary support that person that needs needs in this place of war, we are going to support him so that he can be very productive, so that he can move your business further. So in this case, the disability community can be embraced in every angle. We are looking forward to working together with each and everybody in Nigeria to see that opportunities are open for our people and to see that the community, the society, believe in the capability and capacity of persons with disabilities to deliver. The lives of persons with disabilities will certainly change in the sense that with, with the passage of the Disability Bill by His Excellency and the Senators and everyone who had played a part, it, is, it has brought us to the realization that the human rights of persons with disabilities can now be protected and justice will be done for anybody who is actually discriminated against. I want a situation whereby persons with disabilities will have a say. Persons living with disabilities, mostly our cases or anything that has to do with us is always silent. I want a situation where we will be heard. You know, and I want a situation whereby laws or anything carried out in the country, persons living with disabilities will be included, not we just sitting and then things will be done for us. Because it is he who wears the shoes, know where it pinches. So when it comes to issues affecting persons with disabilities, we should be co-opted in the country because we also have a contribution to make. Most of the things we're supposed to do are basically enshrined in the act establishing the commission. Uh, you can see this is the first time that the council has been set up. Basically, we will now sit and start strategizing on how we can fully implement what is enshrined in the act. Now that the commission is inaugurated, we hope like never before to ensure that more inclusion, more accessibility for all persons with disability. Their problem will never again be in the background because we will ensure that Everything that is supposed to do to make sure that they enjoy full life. As ensuring the Disability Act is made functional. Now you remember, if you go against us, if you call us bad name, if you don't meet our requirement, we will sue you. But we will give those who need to amend their houses, more to offices. Maybe five years, as he said in the disability act, to shin, shin, shin before we start to sue them. When you have a law, it has to be obeyed. That is compliance. And then if that law is not obeyed, then you will now talk about enforcement. That is where sanctions will now come in. So the department is, is uh, in charged with the responsibility of ensuring that the citizens obey the law as it would affect persons with disabilities. Compliance and enforcement department will ensure that where issues of accessibility and otherwise are not complied with, they will take necessary steps to ensure that such defaulters adhere and comply. Now, another aspect of compliance is the aspect of sensitization, because you would need people to understand the law, understand that what he told they were doing that was seen as nothing is now a big problem, it's a big issue and has to be tackled. Indeed, it will be challenging, considering the stereotyping nature of disability in Nigeria. 
but somebody with a vast experience, somebody who has also held a similar position on, on Plateau State, and somebody who has also worked with different partners in terms of dis disability mainstreaming and disability development. Uh, he, he has identified the gaps, he has also made a, a robust plan in making sure persons with disability in Nigeria are not only uh, uh, seen to be impacted but feel to be impacted. So the, he has the body need all of us to work together to achieve the targets, the objective. Then now, as a deaf person, the deaf group, we will look at the problem, the challenges that the deaf group have as it is appropriate, as it is enshrined in the policy. We will see how the commission can come in to address the challenges and the need that is related to that community. This is against all odds. Obviously, from all said and done, the commission is set to run. The commission is set to operate on its mandates. And yes, persons with disability, today, moving forward, have a safe haven to operate. And we will be bringing subsequent episodes of all the activities of the Commission on Against All Odds. Thank you for always staying with us. My name, Toshima Pius Ikerove. Right by my side is... Anna Olayinka. Stay safe and remember that COVID-19 is still real and living with us. Just obey the measures. Wash your hand, use your nose masks when necessary, and stay out of trouble. Bye-bye.